Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video we are going to check out uh, one more time an oil change on the Kranzel 1152 TST pressure washer and I'm also going to uh, sum up my experience with it in the past almost three years um, with lots of uh, uses behind. Anywho, first I'm going to wash the car to warm the device up so the oil will be able to drip a bit faster. Let's roll!
boys and girls, the oil was changed in the Kranzel 1152 TST and this was the third time, if I'm correct. So, boys and girls, what can I uh, tell about the Kranzel 1152 TST after two and a half, almost three years of frequent usage? Um, yeah, it works very well. I never had a single issue which was related to the machine itself. I've done the oil changes as it's as I supposed to. So after every year or every 250 hours, for me it's the every year because obviously I'm not using it for 250 hours a year. I use it a lot, but not that much. Um, the issues that I had with the machine, and again, it's not the machine's fault. Um, it is related to some other issues. So there is that quick connector for the water inlet. I used to have a, a, another one, a, um, it was kind of like similar, but that one had a very tiny damage or dent on it, which was very hard to see. It was not really visible. I had to, I had to concentrate really well to spot it. And once when I connected the hose pipe, um, I started to feel that the machine is not having enough pressure and it's keep um, shutting down. And first I thought it something happened, was well, something wrong with the machine, but it turned out that not this, this con uh, quick connect, but the previous one had this dent and most probably there was a little bit of uh, false air entering the system. So that's why it couldn't build up the pressure and that's why it was keep shutting down. Uh, so obviously I replaced it. First I checked everything and I couldn't find what's the issue. And as soon as I replaced the quick connect, straight away it started to work and it works ever since no issues whatsoever. Another issue I had was related to the short gun. The short, one of the pipe within the short gun was not fastened properly or throughout the time. Um, the thread loosened a little and there was a very tiny bit of leak. And as a result, from time to time, when I didn't use the machine, but it was under pressure and it was switched on, uh, I heard that it switches on for a second, like, meh, like that. And what I did, I checked everything again. I realized there is a bit of leak from the short gun. So I took the short gun apart, I fixed it and fastened and so on. And then it, there is no switching on um, unexpectedly. And just one kind of weakness or not weakness. It has a very nice, very long electric wire or cord. It is really stiff. And as a result, when you are keep um, putting it back to the machine in one direction, it starts to bend. And uh, after some time, obviously it's it bent pretty much. So what I do, I um, keep um, putting the wire or the cord back in one direction for a couple of months and then for another couple of months I do the opposite direction so it's kind of like getting back to straight but then obviously it's bending to the other direction and so on the, but the point is I keep changing the direction from one to the other from time to time. Other than that I can hands on heart recommend it's not a cheap machine but it's very reliable Every single time I can achieve 140 bars, not 120, not 150, not jumping up and down, 140 bars fix every time. So I really like it. I can really recommend. And that concludes the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.